Hey there, and welcome to a little life update for DadBot Fitness. So you'll notice this week I'm not uploading my typical video, and that's because of a little life event, a rather cute life event. So last week, my wife gave birth to our son Aiden, and we are absolutely thrilled, so ecstatic. But of course, along with it comes a lot of, a lot of life challenges. So in this video, what I really wanted to do for you is talk to you about what I'm doing to really still stick with my fitness, still stick with my health and my wellness, trying to still reach my goals, but accounting for the fact that life is a little bit crazier than it was just a few days ago. And what I wanna do for, as well is then break those down into three tips that I can give to you. So uh, first and foremost, what I'm doing is really, originally, several months ago, I was gonna be dieting in January. So here we are in January, and I was gonna be starting a six to eight week cut and about the time, really, that I found out my wife was pregnant and we found out when the birth was gonna be, it was gonna be in January. And I determined at that point that it was, it was not gonna work. It didn't make sense. Sleep was gonna be short. Stress was gonna be higher. There was gonna be a lot, a lot of more chaos in our life. So at that point, I decided it didn't make sense. I'd been bulking now for about a year, a little over a year, very conservative bulk. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna stick right with that based on life events. Because sleep is one of the biggest factors when it comes to building muscle and, body, and dropping body fat. So I'll link a video down in the description by Jeff Nipper. He actually referred to a study that was done where two groups were compared. One group got one hour less sleep than the other group. And of the weight that they all lost, the group that got less sleep lost, of the weight they lost, 85% of it was lean mass versus the group that got more sleep it was of the total weight that they lost, 83% of it was body fat, which that's where you wanna be in. You wanna retain the lean mass. So sleep has a massive role to play. I hope I got the, the stats right in that study. Very drastic difference. I'll link it down in the description. Definitely check it out. So because of that, that's why I wanted to change up what I was gonna be doing. So along with that, I knew my workouts were gonna suffer. I knew I was gonna potentially have to reduce intensity, uh, reduce the duration, just so that I can make sure that my body's recovering because, I mean, he was born in the middle of the night. It was an all-nighter, very broken sleep. You parents know. Um, and if you're a parent, you know, you're, if you're watching this, you probably are a parent, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So with that, I made that decision. It just right now makes sense to maintain. It's not where I wanna be, but it's okay because we get to enjoy our precious moments here with this tiny little one. Newborn phase is hard, but it, uh, you don't get to experience it, experience it a ton. So with that, I'm adjusting my workouts. My calories are already very high, so I don't have to worry too much about hunger. My hormones are in a good place. Right now, leptin and ghrelin, they're not calling for, <laughs> they're not all out of whack like when I was dieting, so I'm not feeling as hungry. So with my calories high, about 32, 3400, I can maintain somewhere around there. So, which is really great, allows me to maintain fairly well. So, that just made sense with all that life chaos going on around me. It's the way that I have to do it. Right now, my physique, I'm content with. It's not where I wanna be, you know, ultimately. Ultimately, I wanna build a little more size, I wanna drop a little more body fat, be a little bit more lean. But right now, I'm content with it. So, Family, for me, is coming far before my fitness and health, which is what I wanna help you to know how to do and to show you how to do. So that's why I'm putting that on the side burner. I'm still gonna be getting back into my workouts shortly here, but. So with that, I wanted to break down really some tips for you to then kind of assess this for yourself. So first and foremost, tip number one, set your goals. Set your long-term and your short-term goals. And remember, your long-term goals, that can be something lofty. Uh, don't be afraid to make it a lofty goal that you can't picture yourself reaching. But once you set that goal, that's that first step towards reaching it. Then have your smaller short-term goals that could be more achievable, more, uh, more realistic to make sure you have some milestones along the way. So also think about then assessing your life situation. Are you in the newborn phase? Are you know, maybe you're a new parent which that's a whirlwind trying to figure out how to, how to cope with all the changes and all of that. But assess your life and determine, are you in a season of life right now where it aids your, your fitness endeavors or are you in 
a, a higher stress, a lot of chaos, a lot of different things going on, where you might need to find an, an in-between that'll still keep you headed towards that direction, but will allow you to still make family a first priority. So two things that I wanna point out here is that first off, don't use that as an excuse to then procrastinate further. If you're someone who's been trying to get into a workout routine, been trying to lose some weight, trying to start a diet, don't look at that then and say, oh well, it's, you know, I can put it off a little bit longer. If that's you, then, then maybe this is the time to try and get your eating right. Maybe even just focus on nutrition, not necessarily workouts. So, but then on the flip side of that, don't use it as a reason to condemn yourself or to feel depressed and in despair that you're not gonna reach the goal that you want. I've been on both sides of those coins. Uh, I, I've experienced both of those and it, it takes work just to keep your mental focus in the right place. I'll refer you back to my video from last week about our, the ability of our brain to actually change our DNA. So I'll link that up above, definitely check, check that out. So with that, you know, what is your goal? This is then really, I guess now I'm into tip number, tip number one, set your goals. Tip number two, assess your circumstances. And then tip number three is, are you in that stage of life that's gonna help accelerate that goal? And remembering that progress is like the stock market. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. Take a look, dadbotfitness underscore DS. Um, I'll link that down in the description below as well. But definitely check out my Instagram. I had a post about that. Look at your fitness journey like a stock market because there's ups, there's downs, there's massive dips, massive highs, massive lows. And then sometimes where it's just in between. But if you step back and you look at the overall picture, you're moving towards your goal. And that's what I have to remember, so I'm speaking to myself as well, that ultimately you're moving towards that, that positive progression, losing the weight that you want, building the muscle that you're looking for, becoming more fit and more efficient in the way that your body operates. So our priority, we have to remember, is to be there long-term for our families. They come first before this, and we're not just building a physique for the sake of building a physique, it's to build something important for our families and something strong for our families so that we can be there. So remember, it's the long game, it's not the short game. And I say that as much to you as I say that to me. So just wanted to give you those three tips, more power to you on your on your endeavors, your fitness endeavors. And if you haven't, check out, I'll put some links for these videos up here in the corner here. Check out these boxes that are gonna help you on your fitness journeys. I'm sorry, check out these videos rather that will help you on your fitness endeavors. And as always, be intentional and bring the intensity. And don't forget to like and hit subscribe, turn on those that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.